ABC Films Guerrero was recently awarded the best foreign feature at the Los Angeles Independent Film Festival Awards. Here is Alan Basadiahe. When living in or visiting Hollywood, folks know to keep their eyes peeled for the occasional celebrity sighting or movie premiere. And if you happen to be around Rally Studios in the heart of Hollywood, you may also notice that the red carpet's been rolled out. That's because the Los Angeles Independent Film Festival Awards is on set, bringing stories of every genre from filmmakers around the globe. Also called LIFA, this film festival is dedicated to discovering and recognizing the outstanding work of filmmakers around the world. And with over 130 trailers and film screenings, this event connects fans of indie films with the people who create them. There are many festivals, but I think having it in prominent place like, like the Rally Studios, you know, and like right in the heart of Hollywood, I think that's very important. And people have changed their life by being winners in, in these kind of platforms. And they are appreciated more in their countries. And, and it actually boosts the energy and, and, and the passion for those filmmakers. That's a tough competition. And yeah, the storytelling is just getting better and better. You've seen so many films today. You met with so many people over here. It's all about the dream. Drive. You saw hundreds of, you know, we had literally the full house and people from all around the world traveling here. Access to the red carpet allowed for an up close and personal mingling with the honorees of the night's event. Plain Man is an animated short created by Merritt Layton and Ben Stockham about a superhero, a new kind of superhero who doesn't really save people but saves uh, modes of transportation. It's about this girl that learns to move on. This woman who is recently engaged and she gets in this house where she has uh, some time to think about her engagement and that makes her think about the fear of commitment that she has since she was a child. The very first award that I got is from LIFA three years back and that actually gave me the kind of confidence that I really needed to actually uh, make my films on a bigger scale because uh, you know more recognition and more awards gives you more confidence and you know that you're actually being successful as a filmmaker. When you're just starting out it is so difficult to try to get any recognition and to see how can I grow as a filmmaker and if you do get some recognition then you can start to see other projects and how they have gone and then you're able to perfect your uh, craft. You get to dress up, it's fancy, you get to see things that people put hard work into that they really believe in, which is a lot different than you might find at the normal cinema. It's a real honor to be here in Los Angeles because of course Hollywood is the center of the international film industry and to be able to be here in Hollywood and to get recognition for a documentary film that's being filmed in some of the most remote parts of the Himalayas here, downtown Hollywood is for us a big honor. I just hope that everyone remembers the value of art and um, even though it might be hard to share and it might be discouraging, don't give up because everybody needs more art in their lives. Another notable award went to EBC Films for their movie Guerrero, winning for best foreign feature. What were your thoughts about that film? It's well made, you know, it's constructed well, that's why it was an award winner, you know, so it, it, it goes through a lot of phrases to in order to have that recognition, so yeah, it was really well told, I think. And I know that one of the uh, prevailing themes of it was about perseverance. Um, well, what do you think about films that uh, try to give that kind of message about perseverance and, uh, and faith? Well, I mean, that's one thing that it's needed in this uh, particular time, I think. You know, the, the, the time we are living in is, is where the faith and those, uh, those values brings uh, much more peace and calm into, into people's life, I think. I think. I think that's very important. Accepting on behalf of EBC Films was our very own EBC Los Angeles Bureau. We would like to thank our Almighty God, the Eduardo Via Manolo, Executive Minister of the Iglesia de Cristo, for his continued support and guidance on this project, and to Los Angeles Independent Film Festival Awards for this great honor. Mabuhay and Blinkula Filipino. Thank you so much. Well, well, so how does it feel to be on the other side of the interview for a change? It was a bit unreal, you know, walking the red carpet with these talented people and getting to go up on stage with them was a big honor. 
and the honor tonight was that uh, Guerrero won for Best Foreign Feature. Yes, on the surface, people might think this film is about a boxer, but there's so many layers to the story, and we're grateful to LIFA for awarding Guerrero. And now EBC Films has yet another film festival laurel to add to its growing list. So, so is this a movie for everyone? Absolutely. EBC Films not only entertain, but more importantly, they deliver moral and value-based stories. In this case, Guerrero teaches us how to keep going, even when the easiest thing to do is to surrender. And the idea of faith and perseverance are themes that will no doubt carry over when the fight goes on in Guerrero Dos, slated to be released later this year. When you talk about the showbiz industry, getting attention for your work can be a tough climb. And that's why film festivals like LIFA exist, to help storytellers share their artistry with a worldwide audience. In Hollywood, California, Alan Basolyahe, Eagle News, I'm one with 25.